Lal, the latest that is coming in is that a furious battle is raging for Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. Bodies of civilians were seen strewn on cities. Ukraine forces had yesterday wrested the war-ravaged city from Russian troops after an intense counter-assault. The city witnessed fresh overnight shelling by Russian troops with missiles, rockets, artillery shells. Blasts were also heard in Kyiv and Kharkiv early this morning. Ukraine's State Service of Special Communication and Information Protection reported intense fighting. The city wore a devastated look. Images accessed earlier show bodies strewn lying on the streets. Ukraine admits that at least 352 nationals, including service personnel, have been killed and over 1,600 injured. All right, let's cut across uh, to Kharkiv. Uh, Svetlana reporting from Kharkiv for India Today. Svetlana, what are you witnessing around you? Can you get us the latest? Uh, the situation right now is uh, a little bit calmer than this morning and uh, people now out uh, to find some staple food, you know. Uh, through my window I can see only uh, the small part of uh, the road. This is one of the central streets of my city uh, and uh, tonight it was... Uh, um, pretty calm so we could sleep at home but uh, there are many people uh, in our building uh, there are uh, deep basements and uh, people staying there with children and uh, older people about five days they stay there for um, since uh, the uh, war began and they now uh, run out of staple food and uh, they they are afraid to go out and every time we hear the uh, siren uh, people run out of the streets and they uh, try to hide in the bomb shelters uh, we you know we were lucky to uh, live in the old house and the basement there is very very solid so uh, we don't have to go to the closest subway station but uh, uh, I have seen many pictures of the people who are staying there uh, for many days already now. And uh, one of the subway stations is uh, like um, 700 meters from my home. But we don't need to go there because we have our own bomb shelter. And um, despite uh, the news that uh, Russians uh, promised to stop battles in uh, Ukraine uh, during the uh, talks between uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine, uh, they are continuing. They're continuing uh, uh, all the fights in the city. And uh, today, from starting around from 7 a.m., uh, we had the battles inside of the city. So I guess uh, I have not seen myself, but I have clearly heard uh, heavy uh, like uh, shooting and uh, like maybe um, tanks, some tank tanks fighting uh, on the streets very clearly, uh, very um, close to uh, my uh, residence. All right, so, so Svetlana, yeah. things calmer right now is what you're saying, what they were earlier. You know, I'm, I'm, we are glad to know that you have a safe haven, at least in terms of uh, the basement of the house that you're in and you don't need to travel. But I want to ask you, Svetlana, is the situation in Kharkiv close to what's happening in Kyiv, where, you know, there's a clear call for residents to evacuate, uh, supplies are running out, there is a sense of panic, like even you seem to suggest, whether general public who has still not left Kharkiv. Uh, the thing is oh, that is a... uh, looks like uh, our people are much uh, more calmer and uh, the situation inside of the city, at least what I can see out from my windows, is much calmer here. And uh, uh, in uh, close to my home, uh, we can see only uh, heavy tanks uh, passing by, but no battles has yet in uh, this uh, particular district. And uh, uh, people, uh, I, 
I don't see that people evacuating um, right now because it is very dangerous. Uh, because uh, uh, each and every big city in Ukraine is now surrounded uh, by uh, Russians and the fights are mostly around the big cities. So they use uh, the uh, highways to get to each city and it is not absolutely not possible now to travel, uh, to, uh, to run, to go anywhere. So people are suggested now to stay where they are. And uh, still, um, we have some supermarkets that are um, open few few hours a day and people can go there and still buy some staple foods. And uh, I can see uh, people are coming from the supermarket, they are passing my windows and I can see they can still buy some food. Uh, but it uh, looks like the city is uh, running out of uh, stocks and uh, people have not seen the bread for many days in the row. Uh, our bread is uh, running out also, but uh, we are going to bake some bread right now. And uh, I am planning to go to the basement to, to see the people that are staying there for five days in the row. And I want to ask them uh, if they need uh, any food. Uh, so we will share what we have right here. You know, that's tremendous, Svetlana, you know, in this time of acute crisis, uh, the kind of fortitude that the citizens in these cities are showing, including, you know, the likes of you, you're going to go down in that basement to make sure that those who've been hiding there for the last five days have something to eat. You're going to break your own bread. You know, all of that in this time. Uh, tremendous, tremendous, Svetlana. But uh, I want to ask you in terms of uh, right now, uh, the civilian population in Kharkiv, have you been able to speak to those? Is there a sense of panic? Your friends, your family? Yes, uh, all my friends and all my family, they are staying in their homes. And I'm talking to them many times per day. We, I start my morning every, every single day uh, with uh, calling my friends, calling my family and asking if they are okay. There is no panic. Uh, we will surrender. Uh, we will... Uh, we will stay where we are. We are not afraid. And uh, we will defend our motherland as much as we can. Because uh, we believe, we strongly believe that God is on our side and he will uh, do the mm -hmm. best to protect his devotees, to protect those people who were attacked right. by invaders. Svetlana, you know, it's, uh, you've got belief in God, you've got faith in God at this point of time, but uh, Kharkiv itself is a border town, Svetlana, nobody knows that more than you. If the negotiations fail, you know, with uh, the talks that are going on between your country and Russia, you could possibly face the full brunt or the full face of the Russian army, Kharkiv, a border town itself. That's right, that's right. Uh, and, uh, uh, we, you know, we live day by day, uh, in the present moment. And we don't want to think uh, about uh, that something uh, really bad can happen. We face uh, our difficulties uh, in the present moment and we just do what we can do. Um, we don't think that uh, Russia will uh, really uh, destroy the cities. We, we actually, we don't know. But uh, for now, we are not panicking. We just leave. We, we face uh, our reality uh, like as it is, you know. We don't have... You, uh, Svetlana, before I let you go, are many of you looking yeah. at uh, joining the Ukrainian army? Uh, pardon, can you repeat, please? I, I, I don't said, understand. My last question, Svetlana, are many of you, your friends, family, uh, you know, the people you're speaking to in Kharkiv looking at joining the Ukrainian forces? Uh, I can, I, I don't know uh, these people, but uh, uh, many people are joining uh, civilian um, troops that are um, 
that go outside in the evenings and they are um, trying to help our military inside of the cities to prevent um, uh, oh, pardon, um, some, because uh, some bad things uh, are already started to happen inside of the city as soon as people are running uh, out of food and uh, um, pardon me, I don't know this English word, but I will try to explain. Some people try to rob uh, kiosks mm -hmm. and uh, some shops to get some food. And uh, these people, these military, uh, these civilian troops uh, with, uh, that are, are really armed, they are trying to uh, prevent this kind of uh, uh, robbers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I cannot... Uh, tell you about uh, how many people okay. joined Ukrainian army. All right. Svetlana, I wish you luck. I wish you fortitude. And I wish you bake some very, very good bread that lasts you for a very, very long time. And you share it with, uh, you know, your friends in the basement. But appreciate you joining us. I hope to talk to you soon again. Uh, Thank you very much.